squad welcome back to the channel you guys i am bringing another this ain't gonna be a story time this is actually gonna be about my 2022 from beginning from january 2022 to december 2022 some of the information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I have already shared with y'all, but I'm going to be more in detail. So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been rocking with your girl from day one, I just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for continuing to support me, supporting the channel, and holding your girl now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there. Just hit that little red subscribe button to the right of you. And make sure you turn on your post notification. Notification bell. I can't talk today. So you'll be up... So you will be notified when I upload a new video to the channel. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So as some of you have already know, December of 2021 is when I got sick with COVID. It was like towards the end of December, going into the beginning of January, right? So I want to say this all first. My entire 2022, I was sick from January until December of 2022. And I want to say two weeks going into January of this month with COVID again. Y'all, I've, since I got sick with COVID, I have talked to a lot of people who have got sick with COVID and those who got sick within their prior year of 2020, they said they haven't been the same. I haven't been the same. It's just like, I don't know. It's just like mentally I haven't been the same since I got sick. I'm not bad, but it's like my way of thinking and my thinking process have changed tremendously. Um, it has changed me for the better, I can say. Even though during the time I was suffering from depression and just being sick and realizing that a lot of people that had COVID are no longer here anymore. That was weighing heavily on me as well. And just going through depression of being sick and just losing loved ones because I did have a couple of deaths in my family as well on my dad's side and just some people that I grew up with passed away. It was a lot going on in 2022 in my life personally. Um, I wasn't working at the time, been on short-term disability. You guys, when I got sick with COVID, I really, really got sick. And the sickness that I had, I should have been in the hospital. I should have been... um hooked up to the breathing machines but i'm thankful that the most high kept me through it all um my lungs i had blood clot in my lungs um i couldn't breathe um i couldn't keep nothing down i was barely eating everything i ate it tasted sweet i mean literally everything that i ate water tasted sweet um, eating a sandwich tasted sweet. Um, soup tasted sweet. Now, chicken noodle soup. Now, those who grew up in chicken noodle soup, I clear black families, 
chicken noodle soup, ginger ale, Vaseline. is the number three products that most black people have in their family when somebody gets sick. I clear we live by Vaseline, you guys. We live by Vaseline. I even do it to my children to this day. Boy, if they get a cut, I'm telling them, go put a Vaseline. Put some Vaseline on it. Everything, we just think Vaseline just heals all things. <laughs> but, um, so, getting back to what I was saying, um, yeah, my 2022 was just me being sick. I done been to the doctors. I done been to so many specialists, you guys. I was having issues with my heart. I was having issues with my lungs. My iron was super low. I had to go get an iron infusion. And where I had to go get an iron infusion, you guys, this is the same place where... Those who are going through cancer get their chemotherapy. I was up in the same location. And I was just sitting there looking around. It made me even more sad than what I was already were at that time when I came in. And I was like, oh, so this is my life right now. And it's like every month I was going back and forth to my primary doctor. It is like it wasn't getting no better. My fevers was sky high. It was like I can barely move. My throat was so sore. When I did cough, blood come out. Like I really went through it. I really literally went through it having COVID. And it made me look at life totally different from being sick all that long time. It made me look at life totally different. And then May, when May came around, um, I had, I was like, right, it was either that evening of Memorial Day. Yeah, that was the evening. And my stomach, the top part of my stomach was feeling real bad, real, real, real bad. And um, I was washing dishes. I have already told the story before. I was washing dishes. I came in the living room, sat beside my husband. He can tell that something wasn't right with me. So I went to the back room thinking that I can take some medicine, some pain medicine, and just lay it down. You guys, I ain't even make it to the bed. I was on the floor, literally on the floor. My oldest daughter came and found me. My husband came and picked me up. I was rushed, rushed to the emergency room and they didn't know whether or not I had a stroke or a seizure. So I went through that process um, and then I want to say like a month later, I, st I felt them same symptoms again. And this time, the second time that I felt them symptoms, that's when one of the nurses that was working in the emergency room asked me, you know, did I still have my gallbladder? And I was looking down at my shirt as if I can see whether or not my gallbladder was still in there. Because I was kind of like out of it. And um, I was able to tell them like, yeah, my, I didn't have no gallbladder surgery. My gallbladder is still there. So that's when they did like a CAT scan and MRI done. And sure enough, that's when they was able to see gallstones. So I went through that process, you guys. So I end up having to have to get my gallbladder removed October of 2022. And I don't wish that on nobody. I don't wish COVID on nobody. I don't wish that on nobody. It's just like you have to speak up regarding your health because they did not listen to me at all when I told them like y'all should keep me overnight like literally keep me overnight just to make sure that I'm able to handle me not having my gallbladder no more something that I was literally born with and y'all taking it out a lot of these surgeries that they have they shouldn't send people home to me personally, they should at least keep people overnight or send them to a location where they can be monitored overnight if y'all don't want to fill up the hospital. 
this is in regards of outpatient surgery i think every state and every city should have some kind of place where you know if y'all don't want to keep patients there for outpatient surgery so y'all can have room there should be a place to where people can go to when they have outpatient surgery just to be monitor overnight especially if there's something that was born with you taking them out and then you don't send them home until a couple hours later you know everybody body is different everybody have reactions to their bodies differently some people can maybe be able to handle it some people may not be able to handle i was one of those people that was not able to handle it because i developed pneumonia when i went home they told me, oh, you're going to have to get up and walk the pain out. Listen, it wasn't working because when I got home, I sat down for a little bit. I was dozing off, going to sleep, dozing off, going to sleep. So I got up and I was walking and it seemed like the more I walked, the worse that the pain got. So later on that night, I began to, my sister, she came from Georgia and she made some soup and she was really there for me. And... <clears throat> I threw up everything, literally two big cups of those cups that if y'all got a QT gas station, you know, them huge big cups that you can get full up with ice or drinks. I threw up two big cups, two of them, all the way to the top. The, the thing was filled all the way to the top. And it wasn't pretty. So I ended up going to the emergency room. They end up having the people was trying to have a nasty attitude my husband and my sister got them straight and it was crazy so they end up keeping me and i end up staying for like a week and two days in the hospital i developed pneumonia i couldn't walk it was just like i was in so much pain you guys I can barely wash myself. My husband had to wash me. I had to wear like those, those big pads. And you know, I messed up on myself because every time I tried to get to go to the bathroom, like it just came straight down. Like I had no control over my bowel movements. None whatsoever. It's just like, just came straight down. Um, until one nurse came in and she was, she looked over my chart. She looked over everything that I've been through prior to her coming on her shift. And she was able to get me straight, was able to get me straight. I was able to sleep. My, the muscle spasm that I was having in my stomach. Oh my gosh. I still, I have scars on my stomach. I have about four incisions, like very small incisions in my stomach. Nobody ain't going to be really seeing my stomach unless I show it, but I don't do, you know, show that. But, um, my, um, I do have four, like, small incisions where they went at to pull the gallstones out. They said I had at least about 12 gallstones. Um, some was a little bit bigger than the others. Um, but it, it it was just it was it was just crazy. It's just like bam, you know, I get sick with COVID and I was having issues regarding that and then bam I had to have a surgery and then dealing with that and then bam I got sick with COVID again. I'm like, what the world is going on here? Like I done got sick with COVID twice. I had to have surgery this year. It was just like one thing after another, after another, after another. And I didn't want to give up because I'm married and I have children and I have um, my whole life ahead of me. You know, I'm young and I wanted to fight for my family. So that's what I did. I changed a lot. So y'all, as y'all will see coming up here, I'm going to be implementing exercising in my videos. I am going to get back to my Mia Mommy morning motivation where I used to live stream early in the morning and exercise. So I am going to be getting back to that, but it's going to be totally different from my previous videos. So if you would like, I do have some previ previous videos of me exercising, me exercising with my husband and my children. 
But these exercises that I'm going to be doing is going to be totally different. I'm going to be implementing something totally different in there as well. So once y'all see that, I hope you guys love that. It's going to be totally, totally different. So like I said, that I hope that y'all will enjoy those videos. But I do want to get on here. Just, you know, take life more serious. No matter what you're going through, you do have your life to fight for. You know, um, take your health more seriously. It's very, very important to take your health and take your life seriously. Like, I felt like I was about to leave a body here. I really did felt like that. Because it was just like one thing after another after another. It was just, it began to be too much. But, excuse me, as time went on, I was like, I got to fight. I have my my husband i have my children and i have to fight so i just want to leave some words of encouragement to you all fight for your life take your life seriously you are worth fighting for you know and just live day by day day by day don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised to no one just live day by day. Take it one moment at a time. Keep your head up and keep pushing forward. Keep going on. I hope this video encouraged you guys to take your health more seriously. And stay tuned to the next video. Alright. Peace.